What's up, everybody? This is the X Man here, and today, well, it's about fucking time I did another Halo 3 legendary playthrough. This time, we're going through Crow's Nest. Eh, you know, I think I'll put the I would have been your daddy skull on just for comedic value. Alright, it has been quite some time since I did anything like this. Just kind of got carried away with the Modern Warfare 3 video. You know, just in trying to manage uh, life responsibilities and all that, but it, it, it's good to be back on X Man TV. Rest assured. Um, you know, I had one upload in the last month, and that was the MW3 video, and just a lot of stuff has been happening. Yes, I have a new girlfriend. That's not Sorry, part of it. Maybe it is, but cutscene time. JK, we're skipping it. All right, know your role. We just lost the perimeter camera. Now, I do like how you can stay for this, uh, for, you know, for more story here if you want. You can also, like... Obviously, if you've seen this before, you can just on, sir, you, you can just skip ahead. Where were you, Chief? I also love trying to kill every single Marine here. I think it's I think it's so fun because there's so many. I remember the first time seeing this and just being like, "Damn, damn, there's guys everywhere." Caves rattling. Agreed, Master Chief. Get there. Everyone's trying to figure out like what to do and where to go. It's like, ah, oh, battle positions. You know, which I think is really cool. You can even shoot these fucking rats, man. Like that, this is a new level of detail that Halo campaigns had. This is when I knew, you know. Where were you, Chief? Where were you, Chief? Yeah, That's right. Gotta go dual smigs. Smigs, for those that don't know, are uh, SMGs. It's it's what classy people call SMGs, SMICs. Those guys are done. Great way to open this section. It's like, oh, you think you're gonna get a vehicle, huh? Too bad. Bam. Ooh Damn, that guy had hops. Oh damn, my marine died already? Or no, that was one in the Warthog. Here, oh. Yeah, in this level you get a lot of uh, allied help. Damn, look at them. They are actually messing that guy up with their assault rifles. You know what? You guys just, you guys just keep suppressing them. Well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> that's, un that's really unfortunate. What? What? Oh damn, they still got more coming. <laughs> I feel like there's a trick to shooting those jackals, because you, you can never feel like you're, you're hitting them right on, you know what I mean? I like how they get staggered and you don't, by the way. Um, whoop. Let me swap that out. I want you take... I'll take this. You take the BR. Bam, we are set. We are good to go. Actually, yeah, we'll go like this. I love this section too. This is like one of those defense sections done right because it's actually a very elaborate area, you know? Like if you think about the elevator in Halo 2 Quarantine Zone, like yes, it's still kind of unique, but for how many guys they throw at you, it's it's really like not, not complicated enough, you know? There's like downed areas, there's like turrets you can use on this area. You guys get what I'm saying? These are like the finer points of game design, I think. And like, oh, making areas more fun and more replayable, because I, I really think Halo 3 is a lot more replayable than Halo 2. Woo! This is, you know, this area makes for some pretty good firefight type gameplay, which, good lord, I hope they elaborate on firefight gameplay in Halo Infinite. Oh boy. You know, if I was playing more carefully, could probably beat this no deaths. I mean, I haven't died yet, actually. So, uh, I'll probably, you know, be speaking too soon and all that. Nice, I'll use this turret. Ooh, oh! Two, two brute shots. 
That's, that, oof, that's hard to beat. Yeah, I felt like equipment is also like a really cool thing that they could have just fleshed out more in future games. Who knows, you know, there's always something from a game that you're like, man, you know, this was cool, could have been done better, but they never did and so you never know. Like, uh, imagine if that happened with zombies in Call of Duty, they just like, oh fuck! They just never made another zombies after World at War. Alright, I think we're, we're doing pretty good though, I mean, uh... I love using the turret at this part, even though it's like your sitting deck. Oh boy. Oh boy. Got him. Oh damn, big guy just... Just took out a bunch of homies. Ah, the third pelican. This is... I think they bring in, like, a brute chieftain. You know, I'm honestly a lot more familiar with the Halo 2 and CE levels. Um, as far as, like, layout and what enemies come when. There we go, got the turret. Third pelican here seems like a, a, a nice place to put a, uh... Uh, Brute Chieftain. That's the word. Ooh. Oh, I still got a Marine. Help him out. Ooh. Oh, God. Oh, nice. I got two Marines. Hell yeah. Yeah, Marines, I feel like we're pretty much perfected in Halo 3. They were still pretty helpful in Halo 2. Just like, uh... I feel like your allies died really fast in Halo 2. Because the enemies just shot the plasma rifle so fast. That's like, such a big reason for the huge difficulty spike on Legendary, you know? Yeah, not as tough as old Chiefy boy. Whoop. Take it. Something wrong. Oh, you know what? Actually, you're gonna get on the Pelican, aren't you? Yeah, and I'm gonna fuck off back to the main area. Hell yeah. Yeah, if only these guys were there fighting with you, you know. Fucking lazy ass bastards. Where was I looking? Camera's right there. Oh, it's actually hella good to just be back and playing this, though. Like, I really do enjoy it. Literally just playing and kind of like having a stream of conscious um, allows me to kind of clear my mind and just talk about stuff and what's currently going on in my life and with the, the channel, you know. I like it that there's like this little mini community for, this, for the second channel and I really like want to flesh it out some more. Oh damn, all your homies are dead. Now we're going back this way, this fucking body right here. Environmental storytelling. And in the background, too, you know, the background voice that's, that talks over everything. Is this when you can see the red versus blue? Man, I forget how to get, how to trigger that uh, Easter egg. Alright, so we're moving on to the next area. Only died like a couple times, and they were all on that turret. Oh, this is the buggers. This is nice. See, there's a nice big pause in between the next area of shooting sequences. And allows the game to be built up with, you know, music and Sir, this, way. this next scene. Look, coming out of the vents. Line them up. Line them up. What the hell are those things, Sergeant? Drones. All swarm. Also, those guys, that guy will most likely die if you don't shoot that drone. Hey, there's so many of them. I'm going in. Oh, you can't attract too much of their fire though. Jesus, there are so still so many. All right, here's what we do. Try and stick one. Woo. All right.
right. Yeah, just play it safe, old boy. I do kind of wish they would, uh, you know, fly around more. Oh, oh, look at this guy. What's up, dude? Oh, well, that's the end of that. Hey, what up, boys? Like if the drones flew around this area some more. Anyways, that's a really cool section, by the way. All right, Chief, or Johnson, you with me. Follow me, Chief. That's right. Skull's up there, by the way, if you don't know. Whoa, did it just pop in? I feel like it did. I feel like it just did it again. So you aren't with me. That's right. Taking the barracks. Marines are trapped inside. Those apes ain't much for mercy, Chief. We both, both know, know what they do to prisoners. prisoners. I really like that line. Oh fuck this section. Yeah, it's people always kind of complained about like, oh, they gave the Covenant human voices or like let them speak English, and it you know it helps with the storytelling. And it helped with the storytelling and reach to not have them speak, you know? What? Hey, hey, hey. Threw down a regenerator for me. Oh. Ooh. Luckily, they threw that down, honestly. Damn, yeah. Good thing they give you a shotgun here, actually. I was kind of like, eh, shotgun seems kind of risky, but damn, it is really good against these guys up close. Alright, and then we got to deal with Chieftain Boy over there. Damn, they really throw a lot of freaking brutes at you. Well, pop. Oh. Oh yeah, you can't stick these guys, can you? I always found that so weird. Whoa! Oh god, I don't want to do this part all over again. Holy poop balls. A lot of deployable cover all around. Ha! Oh, got him. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you know, I'm still being pretty cautious, even though I'm not doing, like, the no deaths. Like, still pretty cautious about how I'm playing and everything. Do their shields regenerate? I'm honestly not sure. Whoa! Don't matter. You get beat all the same, kid. By the way, um, I thought of branching out content on the main channel a bit more. And, like, maybe covering movie reviews or, like, talking about trailers and stuff, movie trailers. Maybe, maybe stuff for the second channel, too. Like, I kind of want to talk about the Sonic trailer and what I think of it. You know, it is video game related. And then this part. Oh, yeah, don't you have to kill one of the... Oh no, you don't kill one of the drones for the skull. They just go through the vents, which again is cool. Like, you don't you don't fight them here. They're just like using the vents, and it's part of the. Damn. Sup, Arby? Yeah, you take him down. Find out one way or another, Keith David. Whoop. Definitely not for me. No! Please! Look, it has soiled itself. Oh, they- Oh, no, they didn't kill him. Whop! Yeah! Damn! Yeah, the gravity hammer just puts you too far in harm's way. Oh! 
Damn, they killed him. What? Fuck. I'm trying to save his ass, but, you know, without hurting him. And being able to sneak up on those guys. It's tough. But Arbiter's got my back. That's the way we do it. Take out these jackals first. I like how Arby is. Oh! Dual wielding up up in here. Oh! Got him. Yeah, nice shooting, Tex. Here's that remix of CE. And it's nice. I dig it. Whop! Oh. Yeah, gonna play it safe? Because you're- Whop! JK. Still played it safe. Yeah, this area is fucking great. Nice, we got that marine too. Cheap, shiny. <laughs> There's gonna be some more boys coming up. Oh yeah, it's that door. Nice. And then we got boys coming in here. Oh damn, I really killed- I just killed Arbiter. Oh my god. Whoop. He is pretty good. Oh, nice. These guys are helping me out. Yes, please grab a weapon. Ooh. Don't worry, I'll take care of most of these boys. These encounters are just so perfected. What? Pop! Got him. Whoop. They just got reinforcements coming in on both sides. It all feels natural and, you know... You know, there were guys hiding in there, they were captured by the brutes, and now, like, you came and freed them, so they fight alongside you. It's just... The storytelling, man. It's all part of the storytelling and, like, level design and... Damn, you know, I can really appreciate it now. Alright, I think this is the big, uh... This is the elevator part right here. Yep. So it's good to equip those guys with some, some nice weapons. Nice. These guys are well set. Ah. Take a nice little breather before the next stretch. Ah. Let's roll. Let's do it. God, I love this. I, I want to get back to cranking these out as well. And I don't want to say cranking them out in like a bad context. But, you know, getting these videos out faster. Because I want to do reach before comes out on PC and all that. You know what I mean? Ideally, that's what I would like to do. Alright, I'm gonna go AR. Got him. Oh yeah, there's gonna be more boys coming in here. This ain't this ain't the last. Oh boy, damn! I like getting up in their faces too, just because it keeps the you know the Marines can cover you from behind, especially when they're all equipped with you know carbines and shit, man. Wait, wait, no, you take this SMG, boy. All right, good enough. Oh. The Marines don't melee, do they? 
I just kind of noticed that. The Marines in this, in like all the games, don't really melee. Oh, god damn it. Like, it makes sense, you know? They're not as big and burly as the Chiefs, so... Obviously, you could just stand back and just, like, BR them, but, you know... I like getting up close and personal sometimes. Give my boys over there a bit of a break. Also, yeah, we seem to be picking them off real good. Holy shit. Oh man, if I was over there, those guys would have killed me. Ooh, baby. Ooh! Hot damn. What a battle. There's like invincibility up there. Uh, not super useful, but you could get it. Tools, go. I'll cover you. Thanks, boss. Oh, nice. You're coming up this way. And I'm going back down. Brooks, to set the bomb. The they disarmed the bomb. Sorry, Commander, there were too many. Even for me. Chief, even for me. Get back to the op center. He's fucking still Bruce. cocky even when he's losing. I've gotta get these men out of here. But I'll so... with another exit. Good luck. Be the protectors of Earth and all her colonies. Damn it. Thought I had the frags. You know what is funny is I might not remember like every single combination of enemies or like what type of brood is going to be where but I can always remember when there's going to be sniper jackals because I remember where I get killed by them. And in this area, like, like I remember where I get killed by them so vividly. Yeah, you guys going to keep running to that turret, huh? Damn. How are you speaking to me without the static of, like, the comms, Johnson? <laughs> Did you guys notice that? I'm pretty sure there's sniper jackals here. Ooh. Ooh, that was a close one. Oh! Told ya. Oof. Yeah, they're just near, not nearly as scary as Halo 2. You know, they're still scary, but there's way less of them. You know, they take longer to fire, I feel like. They're not as accurate. The first shot is also almost like a warning shot. Like, hey, there's a sniper jackal here. Like, and then you're like, okay, okay. So you play more carefully. But in Halo 2, you didn't have, like, that warning shot. I feel like, I feel like that's the big difference. You know? Maybe it's just me. Um, I'm gonna need like a better weapon. I'm gonna need a better weapon. Grabs the needler. <laughs> Just threw out a mine there and nobody gives a fuck. I thought I saw a plasma grenade, like, whiz by me. Whoa, he can shoot through those little cracks, that's not good. Oh, yeah, they put, man, the fuel rod guy, whoop, in a really not good place for me. Oh, no thank you. Oh god. The worst, the absolute worst death is when you kill an enemy and then they like keep, when they keep pulling the trigger and that gets you. Or if you die to some guy on a turret. 
Like I almost just did. Alright. Pop, 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 pop. Then you run into these grunts who are all just running around. Whoa, oh fuck, I guess there's jackals too. Oh god damn it. Yeah, but if you walk up to these guys, they don't give a they don't give a hoot about you. They'll just cower and run away. Now uh, we're getting close to the final area. Stop interrupting me, Cortana. I'm trying to talk about video games. Like I said, my recollection of these levels is not as like pitch perfect as some of the other games. Oh, oh boy. Damn, look at that, like a quadruple killionaire. A quadnaire. That's probably like the only point in the game where you could get all those medals. Where just like, all those guys are flying by. Hwah! Heading back to the hangar. Um, maybe now, I think, is when you can trigger the uh, red versus blue cutscene. Nope, son of a bitch. I feel like I'm doing something wrong. You know, I also like, like, interesting design for a level is every now and then, like, the place is under attack so the lights flicker on and off and, and it shakes a bit. It's like, makes it feel authentic and real. It's like, oh shit, you know? But this, not so much. I get it, Cortana. I, I fucked up. Wow. Grunts don't like loud noises. Whoop. There is much time, Chief. Find that elevator. Oh boy. Nice. Just killed himself. Ah. Uh oh, here we go. Okay, and then that is- whoop! Pfft. They're all just chilling over here. Like, we fulfilled our programming. And then, that's it, boys and girls. That is the end of Crow's Nest. Or is it? I have a feeling this elevator is going to take me somewhere safe. Oh, the fire is- that's good. This place will become your home. This place will become your tomb. Oh. This place will become your tomb. Ooh, pretty good line of dialogue. But there we go. That was Crow's Nest. Hope you guys enjoyed. I th I did really well, I think. How many times did I die? It doesn't tell me. Oh wait, five five deaths. That's pretty good. That is pretty dang good if I do say so myself. Oh! Oh, fuck! Damn! What? Fuck! Oh, boy. Damn. Oh, god damn it. Five deaths. That's pretty good. That is pretty dang good, if I do say so myself. And, like, two or three of those were on a turret. So, yeah. Next time, we're gonna be doing Savo Highway, and look forward to that, because that'll be coming real soon. Thanks for watching. That's all I got for today. This is the Act Man, signing out. Peace!